Verse 19, hast thou utterly rejected Judah? Hath thy soul loathed Zion? Why hast thou smitten us, and there is no healing for us? We look for peace, and there, there is no good. And for thine time of healing, and behold trouble, we acknowledge, O Lord, our wickedness and iniquity of our fathers, for we have sinned against thee. Now, where do I see? They got to a point where they needed help. Everybody do that, that reject the Lord. They get to a place where they need help. Amen. And the Lord say, uh, you know, they're coming to me now, but before they weren't interested. Yeah. See, so you can't keep doing that and say, well, he going to come. No, brother, sister, you're going to keep pressing this where God ain't going to give no help. Because you are biting his face, sinning against him. See, because you can't keep just openly sinning against God. Amen. See, a reprobate mind gets you into presumptuous sin. That's King James' word of willingly sin. Amen. Knowing I'm doing wrong, but I'm doing it anyway. Yeah. That's how you get it. Now you know you got a reprobate mind. You said right in here, I hope you hear me, Mister. You said right in here, and you know you're doing wrong, but you just continue doing wrong. That's presumptuous sin. That sin is judged different than if you didn't know. Amen. Oh, no, you ain't going to make me go there. Nah, I can't go there. I can't go there. I can't because I made a statement. See, I got to show you that. See, you got to know who God is and how God operates. See, this is the way God operates, partner. In his word, he don't operate the way you feel, the way you think, and what you think is right and what you don't. He got a set pattern already, the way he operates. You're going to have a limit time of this grace, and it's going to run out on you because you willingly sin it. Because wow. you in this face saying, this is what I believe, this is my mind, this is what I think it should be. I should do this. Okay. Amen. Then you're going to, you got to pay the punishment. You got to pay the price, man. Yeah. Do the crime. You got to pay the time. Amen. So let's go with it then. Huh? You got a presumptuous sin. Numbers chapter 15, verse 30. Yeah, see, let's see then. Because you need to know who God is and how God operates. See, because once you cross him now and you say you're smart and you know what you're doing, you better know what you're doing. Okay, come on. Go ahead. But the soul that doeth aught presumptuously, whether he be born in the land or a stranger, the same reproacheth the Lord, and that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Presumptuous sin. Read in the living Bible what that mean. But anyone who deliberately makes the mistake whether he is a native Israeli or a foreigner, is blaspheming Jehovah and shall be cut off from among his people. For he has despised the commandment of the Lord and deliberately failed to obey his law and uh -huh. he must be executed. If he deliberately do it, he must be executed. Now that's the Old Testament. Okay, well you say, oh pastor, that's, that's, that's my problem with you. You'll be going to the Old Testament. Okay, I heard you, yeah. Then let's go to the New Testament. In Hebrews, he's saying, uh... Hebrews yeah, 10, 26. Yeah, you already got it. You know where I'm going. All right, you got that? See, yeah, okay, see, so you say, well, that's the Old Testament. Let me show you, it's worse in the New Testament. Once you know. When you know about the blood of Jesus and all, you setting yourself up, partner. Oh, yeah, boy. You setting yourself up, and that devil is a master. I'm trying to get to that point I was. I made a statement Sunday. I got to close. I got to leave you alone. I, I ain't going to work this too hard because I got another little meeting right after this, man. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I forgot about that. Huh? Come on, read. For if we willfully sin after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifices for sin, uh -huh. but a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fire indignation, which shall devour the adversaries. Wait, 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 no. At, it talk about if they Moses sin or two or three witnesses. Next verse. We, okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. He that uh -huh. despised Moses' law died without mercy mm -hmm. under two or three witnesses. Uh-huh. Of how much sore punishment, suppose ye, shall he be thought worthy, who have trodden under the foot the Okay, wait a while. You got it. Sore punishment. You don't understand that, maybe, see? He say, go back. In the living Bible, he say, a two or three under Moses. That's, he talking about what I just read, that if they catch you doing something, two or three, they're going to take you out in a split. Amen. Now, he say, wait a while. He say, well, you think that's bad. Try it in the New Testament era, right now. Go ahead, read. 
Verse 28, uh -huh. a man who refused to obey the laws given by Moses was killed without mercy. If there were two or three witnesses to his sin, uh -huh. think how much more terrible the punishment will be for those who have trampled underfoot the Son of God and treated his cleansing blood as though it were common and unhallowed and insulted and outraged the Holy Spirit who brings God's mercy to his people. So, partner, this is worse. God has mercy. That's the only reason. But if you continue, he's going to judge you. Just like he judged you in the Old Testament. Now, he's going to give you time for repentance. It's called space for repentance. To give you time to change your mind. Because the word repentant means change your mind. He's going to give you time to change your mind the way you think. That you think this is not the way he said it. Because your action's showing that. That you don't believe what he's saying is true and you're not going to be judged for it. That's what you keep doing. You keep acting like I'm invincible. I'm going to beat this. God said in the Old Testament, two or three, we killed you. How much worse it is now that you trotting under the soles of your feet the blood of Jesus and say this is common. I don't care nothing about this. Setting yourself up. You'll get a worse judgment than the Old Testament. Just going to take a little while because you're going to think you done got away. He showed her. So you got to change your mind. No, no, no. Now, if your mind stay double-minded, then this is what the devil used. He used this. He used it on you all the time. All you got to do is just think, well, no, I think this is not right. This is the way I think it should go. And you keep looking the opposite way on God. So the devil, he wants you to have this divided mind where you go either way. That's what you want, okay? Uh-huh, why?